So far we have seen CAMs that help us draw some special profiles, say a perfect equilateral triangle. Now we'll see one that helps us draw a perfect square. Uh, for that we are going to start with this square here which is going to help us guide our CAM and uh, with the side same as the side of this uh, square I'm going to draw a equilateral triangle. Then I'm going to round it off to construct a so-called Rulaz uh, a triangle, a rounded triangle uh, with the vertex as a center and side as the radius. Let's copy this arc two times more so that we have this profile here. Uh, let us move it into the square so it fits perfectly because of our construction and then we can get rid of the basic triangle we started with. So this is the rounded triangle or uh, it's a profile of constant width. The width is equal to the side of the square and therefore it fits in perfectly. In fact, this will be capable of rotating inside this square all the time maintaining contact with the four sides. There is a very good explanation of this uh, on Wikipedia. So look it up and uh, there is a nice animation also here. So you can see this rotating inside the uh, square. Uh, we are going to use this profile as our basis and then we are going to do some modifications so we'll get the square path. Uh, the problem with uh, this triangle is it is not rotating about any constant uh, center. Uh, neither is any of its points uh, tracing a square that we are looking for. So let's see what modifications we need to make. Now here is one useful idea in that uh, context. Let's suppose we have a roller like this which is rolling inside say our guiding square. Then the center of that roller will maintain a fixed distance equal to the radius of that roller from the side and therefore it will trace a straight line. Now suppose we fix this roller at this tip then the distance of uh, a point on this circumference okay, from uh, this arc here okay, measured through the center of course uh, would be constant and that will be the sum of the radius of this plus the radius of that arc. So if we can blend this roller into our rounded triangle so that uh, this roller and the profile opposite to that, the arc opposite to that, share a common center that is going to serve some purpose. Let's start with a profile like that. So here is our profile. Uh, it has four arcs uh, instead of the three arcs of the rounded triangle. And uh, these two arcs opposite to each other share a common center over here. And their radii add up to uh, the side of the square. Uh, let us see how this moves inside the square. For that I have carved out uh, some shape inside this okay, just to make a 3D uh, sort of roller inside it, uh, out of it and uh, then we'll be making it lighter with this sort of cuts and on. So this is our design now in uh, uh, actual physical form and uh, let us see how it looks in 3D. So we have cut these shapes so it is fitting nicely inside this square and uh, it is lighter also. And uh, we are going to put a tracing point at this uh, center here. That is a common center of these two opposing arcs. And uh, let us see how this moves. So this is how it is going to roll inside. Okay. Now let us put our tracing point at the common center. Okay, You may not be able to see what kind of path it traces. So let us uh, actually put a pencil at the tracing point. So like this and then we'll make it trace a path. So this is the kind of path we are getting from the profile. And it is a perfect square. And uh, this can be analyzed very easily. Okay, just focus on uh, where this profile is making a contact. Okay. It is making a contact with one of the sides. So obviously its center will be moving around uh, along a straight line. And then it switches the side and again does the same thing. And again it switches the side and does the same thing and so on. So all the four sides are traced. Uh, 